Hey guys, it's Sylvia and I'm back for an eye tutorial. I'm not going to do full face today. I'm just going to do the eyes and the lips. Um, I want to start this shiny Pokemon series on my YouTube channel. So um, I don't know if any of you guys know, but um, if you don't, I play Pokemon. I really do love it. Um, and I'm a very avid shiny Pokemon hunter. I love getting shiny Pokemon. I love breeding shiny Pokemon. That's the um, look I'm gonna do today because I have one. And I'm going to start my shiny decks. So as I go on with my shiny decks, I'm going to do a look for each shiny that I catch or breed. So this is a Picky Peck right here. This is a super cute little Picky Peck. And as you can see, it is black, white, its eye is blue and its head color is red so that is just a regular form of piggy peck and the shiny form which it took me uh i got a shiny piggy peck i was sos chaining and i got it after 164 encounters um and here it is so as you can see it has a different color scheme it is still black and white but its eye instead of being blue is green and its head instead of being red is a more purple uh pink color so that's what we're gonna do but i wanted to make a youtube video and make a series out of this so i do have a lot of shinies so um I'll be catching up with the ones that I do have with makeup looks and what I run. And let me know what you guys think about it. And I hope you guys like it. So let's start it off. Okay, so we have the tape on. Now as a base for our foundation, we are going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick. This is the concealer in Buff, oh, in Follow Your Bisque. This, I use this as shadow uh, primer all the time just because I really love it and it, it it makes my my eyeshadow look fine and actually very really nice so I don't mind it and we're going to apply it on our lid all over and don't worry about getting messy we're gonna blend it out with a brush and I'm gonna grab any blending brush that you have and just gonna blend it out just to give it a nice look and if you want to set it really fast before you do the other eye you can I'm going to be using the Morphe 12P palette today. I'm going to grab the white shade right here and use it to set my eye. I'm going to grab this pink shade right here in, this, in the 12P palette and I'm going to put it all in the crease just to make it um, pink. We're going to end up cutting it so don't worry about uh, preciseness or anything. So. Okay, so the pink is laid down, and the next color is green. So we have the perfect green shade here, so I want to cut my crease, and I'm going to cut it with, obviously, grab the same Mega Glow concealer stick, and I'm just going to cut my crease, and I'm going to do like a nice little wing to it. So just grab some on your, on your lid. There's two ways. You can always just cut it however you want to, or you can put it here on your lid like this, on the very bottom down here. And then you open your eyes and that line is where you're going to cut it that's where that's your crease line that's where you're going to cut your thing so that's where i'm going to cut it like i said i'm going to make sure i make a little wing here so let's get into that So you see that's how I did it. Now if you want to you can set it with your white um, with the white from that palette but I want to kind of go right in with the color just to make it pop a little more. So we're going to grab this green shade right here in, the in that same 12P palette and I'm going to put it all on everything that it has concealer. Okay, so there it is, like this. Now I'm gonna grab my e.l.f. Small Precision Brush, and this is how it looks. I'm going to grab the 
black that's right here in the 12p palette and i'm going to put it like right on the cut where we cut our crease i know we still have to do this eye and you can do um you can do it as you go if you want i personally like to finish this eye and then go and do this one so this one i'll probably end up doing off camera so don't worry about it so i'm just gonna grab a little bit of that black and then I'm just going to go right on where the crease is cut. And I'm just going to put it right there. Just like that. AOA Studio E124 brush right here it is a nice little pencil brush, precision kind of. So I'm going to use that to blend out that black into the pink. We want to blend it into the pink not into the green and if it does get into the green don't worry about it you can always just clean it up with some concealer again and then just fill up the green again so and there we go so now it looks a little more purplish which is weird but you can still see the pink but we had to put in some black in there because it is black and white i'm gonna grab this color brush that i got at shop hush and it's a nice brush a nice little padded brush so i'm gonna grab the pink and kind of go over it again just to give it some more pink just because i don't want the black to overpower it i don't want it to look purple at all so let's just go over it a little bit like this well, I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye now and I'll see you guys when I come back okay so we have both eyes done now so now we're gonna go ahead and do our eyeliner so eyeliner I'm gonna be using the elf precision liquid eyeliner I don't think they sell this specific one anymore online I don't know if they do in store but I know online they definitely don't because I've looked for it a billion times but um, this is in black obviously and we're gonna go ahead and do our liner Liner is done. Mm. <laughs> Liner is done. So now we're going to grab our e.l.f. Well, I'm going to grab my e.l.f. Mineral Eyeliner. This is also in black. And we're going to go ahead and do our water lines. We're going to grab the same green shade and put it on the inner corner on the waterline. Like so. Also, sorry, that's my heater. We're just going to put it right underneath the waterline, right in the front. I'm going to stop like halfway. So now that that's the way I want it, I'm going to grab this pink shade, the same pink shade we used on our eyes, and we're going to put that on the rest of the eye on the back and then blend it into the green a little bit. We still want that pop of green to be there, so try not to overpower it. So I'm going to take the, the pink and we're going to go right here and just put it through the rest of it. And then blend it a little bit right here so that they meet together and they're still blended really nicely. And to finish off the eyes, I'm going to use my Books of Mascara right here. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Now I have my mascara on. I love this mascara so much it makes my eyelashes look so good <laughs> but um I'm going to grab now the wet n wild mega glow highlighting gold bar and I'm gonna put that in on the inner corners of my eyes for that highlight <laughs> for the pop of highlight so let's go ahead and do that right here I'm going to take this day and night um, lipstick from e.l.f. Cosmetics. So nighttime is the darker shade, daytime is the light. I use it on my lips today because I feel like a neutral color would make this look just pull together. So let's go. Now 
this um specific one this specific day and night one is in the best berries so this is probably still online so i'll definitely like i always do link everything down below <laughs> <laughs> uh, can i press a button for red button so i can take a picture you want to press the red button to take a picture a star. no not the red button okay so here's our final look And I really love it. Um, I think I'm gonna grab, give you guys the picky pack again for reference. So here is the picky pack green eyes with a pink head. I think it came out pretty nice. I love it. I love this look. Um, I have a couple more looks on my Instagram if you guys want to go check that out. I'll link it down below. Um, and every shiny Pokemon look that I do on my Instagram, I will always be doing and recreating here on my YouTube because I want to make it a series, um, as I go on with my shiny decks. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. And if you guys are not subscribed yet, um, go subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> um, and if you are already subscribed, thank you for coming back. Um, if you're new here, my name is Sylvia. I am an aspiring MUA. Um, leave everything I used um, in this video down below like I always do, as long as my social medias and other things that you guys might want to check out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.